The Peralta home was built in 1860, originally on 40 acres of land. It was the first brick house built in Alameda County. The bricks were handmade, each 14 inches thick, from the Alameda Brickyard Slough. The stucco you see today covers the original brick. It boasted a four-acre garden surrounded by an ornate iron fence complete with two cement fountains. Two magnolia trees were planted and are still standing today. A horseshoe-shaped drive extended all the way to East 14th Street. This stately home had 15 rooms, including two parlors. Each room has a white alabaster fireplace imported from Italy. The windows were imported from Germany. The rooms were decorated with hand-stenciled, embossed French wallpaper. The Peralta home is located at 561 Lafayette Avenue, San Leandro, California. The Peralta home was built for Ignacio Peralta by his son-in-law, William P. Toller, and his wife, Maria Antonia Peralta Toller, who was the daughter of Ignacio Peralta. Ignacio Peralta was one of four sons of Don Luis Maria Peralta, owner of the famous Rancho San Antonio that was granted him in 1820 and which is now mostly occupied today by the city of Oakland. This home is located on land that was part of that rancho. It is the only structure in San Leandro confirmed to predate the city's 1872 incorporation. The house belonged to the Peralta family until 1875. In 1926, it was purchased by the Altamira Club and serves to this day as the organization's clubhouse. The Altamira Club was founded in 1907 and is dedicated to promoting civic improvements, social change, and philanthropic works. Altamira means high aims. This women's club was the first federated women's club in San Leandro. The property is remembered as the oldest structure in San Leandro and as the home of the famous Peralta family and their historic Rancho San Antonio. It is also the meeting place of the oldest women's organization in San Leandro.